household dust can be a real nuisance, but renovation dust, well that takes things to a whole new level. It can really slow down a job when you constantly need to be cleaning up, and builders and DIYers doing the job often need to wear uncomfortable dust masks just like this one. This three-story historic manor was built in the 1800s, but over time the house has fallen into disrepair. Now there's drywall damage, peeling paint and plaster everywhere, and its formerly beautiful wood floors have seen much better days. The mansion's current owner, Robert Kelsey, is in the renovation business himself. Robert, what an amazing house you have here. Thank you. What made you purchase a property of this size? The house was sitting vacant for five, six, seven years, and we kept driving by it and thought somebody needs to save this place. And my wife and I have some family history here in the village, mm -hmm. and we just couldn't stand watching it deteriorate any longer. So when you started work here, then what, what were the first things? What was your order of priority? First thing we did was roof took care of the roof, we went around the edge of the, the basement and, and closed in anything that needed to be bricked up. We had all the brick pointed, the chimney replaced, painted the house, replaced windows. The village mayor is excited about this project too. In fact, the whole town is glad to see this graceful old landmark brought back to life. The village of Manila is very excited to have this cornerstone property return to its original grandeur. There's been a lot of developers over the years that have come in and wanted to tear this property down to convert it to a parking lot or a store. We are excited to have a place where folks can gather for community events because there really is no other venue like this in our community. Wow. What an amazing space. Really? This is the main hallway. It is. And it's like these ceilings are what, about 12 feet high? Yes, sir. It's, uh, it has such a, an opulence and elegance to this. You can sort of really feel the history in this building. It does. It always harkens back to the old movies for me. So a huge amount of work. Um, I know as a builder that when you do a lot of work like this, you get a lot of dust. Right. Managing dust is going to be key. To help, we brought in Operation Build team member, Jeff Hill. He's from Oneida Air Systems, a company that specializes in the manufacture of dust-free renovation for both the commercial and residential user. Jeff, tell me, why is dust-free working environment so important? Yeah, renovation dust is a big problem for contractors. Uh, you know, may slow down their work that they do. They may get complaints after the job is done, have to come back and clean up. But it's also uh, a big problem for homeowners. Uh, picture if you're living in the house when a renovation's going on, your kids, your pets have to track through this every day. It adds an element for the contractors. They have to manage that homeowner expectation and uh, leave a clean job when they're done. Extra work for them, for sure. Now, it's an interesting business that you're in. What is, what is the story behind Oneida? How did it get its start? Well, Oneida's been in business since 1993. We started out making cyclonic dust collectors and bringing industrial grade technology down to that small uh, or mid-sized woodworking shop. So cyclonic means sort of like, see your logo, but it's sort, of, it's sort of like the air is spun around the, the outside of a drum or something? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Cyclone technology, it's much like the stuff that's now in small uh, household vacuums to pre-separate dust before it enters the vacuum and yep. before it clogs the filter. Coming up next, we take a closer look at Oneida's product line that will help us work in a dust-free environment. And later, we visit with a family that suffers from dust-related allergies and show how they solve the problem with the science of probiotics. Did you know the average US home collects 40 pounds of dust each year? I'm here in the village of Manoa in upstate New York and I met with Robert Kelsley who is renovating an old mansion from the ground up. When you're tearing down walls and sanding floors, it can create a dust storm of huge proportions. Fortunately, Oneida Air Systems has the perfect solution. So Jeff, I, I, you know, watching the machine in operation, it, it seems like it's there, there's, I can see barely any dust on the floor here. So it's really efficient at, at getting everything out. What would normally happen here? This machine would normally just dump the, the, the exhaust to go into a bag that would breathe through the bag right and catch whatever dust it can. So we don't make them sanders, but we make the retrofit that go, goes on to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, the sanders typically have a, a big bag, like you said, a sack that the dust blows out of the sander mm -hmm. into the bag and that fills up with dust as you work. That bag also has to serve as the filter for yeah. the whole system. And so as it's filling and plugging up with dust, less and less dust is gonna get picked up off the floor more dust would be in the air. So as you see, we're working in here, there's nothing in the air, and even with this rough floor, there's just a little bit on the floor when we're done. Mm -hmm. Our Cobra vacuum powers this, and that Cobra 
uh, oftentimes can be on the front porch in a garage. It can be up to 50 or 100 feet away from where they're actually standing. Okay, and then so now the air is exhausted through here. The dust is, is goes through the vortex here and down this pipe over to the Cobra machine. Correct, so the sander is doing the work of picking up the dust, blowing it out, not into the bag anymore, but into our vortex cyclone. Yep. We separate the dust out, but we let most of that air that was gonna go into the bag come right out the top through a HEPA filter, so there's no emissions out of the top. And all we have to do then is just carry the, uh, the sanding dust itself away by the Cobra vacuum. I love the fact that you left this part clear so you can actually see this thing working. It's kind of cool to see it spinning around and, and disappearing. Do you mind if I try my hand at it? No, let's try it. I have my, uh, my heavy duty uh, li license, that'll be good. There's just no dust. I mean, I've done so many jobs where there's these machines, I always dread seeing the floor sander coming because you know there's going to be dust in the air and this, it's gone. What else you got? Well, let's go see our uh, dust deputy in action. I love deputy dust. Hey, this is one of our uh, Dust Deputy products. This one's our Dust Deputy uh, Deluxe model. We make several of these, and they're all designed to go in front of a wet-dry vacuum and pre-separate the material before it ever gets into the vacuum system. So almost nothing enters the vacuum. It's not going to clog the filter. It's not going to make a nuisance to empty, uh, and it's amazing. So in any application where you have a lot of dust, this is the answer. Well, what is that interesting tool down there I'm looking at? Well, this is one of our new uh, contractor tools. Uh, this is called our Viper Scraper. Um, mm -hmm. And it is a scraper that you could scrape paint or boat holes or popcorn ceilings, whatever you needed to use a scraper for traditionally. But this one is hollow and connects right to a vacuum hose. And so as you scrape, all the debris will be carried away and so into your vacuum. A blade here, it's pretty sharp actually. Yeah, and tungsten carbide blade. It's a really simple idea and a great application. I've, I've scraped paint on houses before. The paint falls on the ground, gets in the landscaping. It's a complete nightmare. Um, with something like this, the paint's just taken away. And if, of course, if you're dealing with leaded paint. Yeah, or worse yet, a leaded paint in a renovation job where homeowners and people might be uh, around. Yeah, so it's also, there's a huge element of safety there as well. Well, maybe we can put this to the test and see how the, the uh, dust deputy handles the little paint on the walls here. Okay, let's try it out. I think it's important that uh, we show people really how well this thing works and where the dust went. You want to check it out? Uh, yeah, I'm actually intrigued to see what, uh, All right, what we have here. Let's open it up. Under the dust deputy, we should have most of the dust that we've been working with. There's about three inches of very fine sort of drywall dust there. Absolutely. And, and what's, what do we have there? Nothing. This filter's spotless. There's nothing on it. Normally, this would be caked with dust. So Jeff, where can we find these products? I mean, if your homeowner wants to pick up uh, any products from Oneida Air Systems, where would they go? Well, you can get them from us direct. You can get them in box stores near you, but the best place to start is our website. It's uh, www.oneida-air.com. And uh, there we can talk to you directly or point you toward a retailer near you. Well, I'm really impressed with, with your entire product line. It's, it's, it's so rare to see a product do exactly what it says it's gonna do. So I, I can't thank you enough for showing us everything today.